Hello, welcome back to A Boeing Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to the Boeing company and of course the great man Elon Musk. Not much going on in the news at the moment, so I thought I'd do another predictions episode. I've got a quite a good one today, maybe you've not thought of this one. Hopefully you haven't, then you'll be surprised by what I've got to say. So, let's get going. Oh, so we're on our weekly predictions. Um, I've not really been keeping up with this, but I'm going to give it a good crack in the first quarter of next year. Hopefully we can bang out about 10 more predictions. This is episode seven, weekly predictions. Remember, guys, please like and subscribe if you've not already done so. So what do we do here? I predict something and then we look back at it in 12 to 18 months to see if I was correct or I was badly wrong. What have I got for you today? So, the prediction is, prediction number seven, the Boeing company will not use traditional station names. Now, they plan to have a lot of micro stations. I cannot imagine them having them different names for each station, or even just numbering them. I think it will be done in a totally different way. And I've come up with a way which I believe will actually benefit the use of this system and improve its usability for all the passengers. So, they, it will be totally the opposite of the rail industry, i.e., and there's a few stations from the uh, metro system in LA, Grand Park, MacArthur Park, Normandy. So, why will they not use traditional station names? It's impractical. It's very, very impractical to individually name 7,000 micro stations because that is what he's talking about. Based on his last talk on the 18th of December, he was talking about near enough 7,000 stations. Way too many. How would you come up with the names? You're going to have hundreds of stations in potentially one area. How are you then going to name it? It's too complicated. It will confuse the general public and it will lead to mistakes. If you're given just a general name, say Park Lane Station 4, how do you know you're not going to get that confused with Park Avenue Station 5 or 4 or 3? Or you, you could easily get confused between different stations and it, it's, it, it's not easy to determine where a station is based on the name if you have thousands and thousands of stations. Also, it will allow the use of an application or a system developed by a company called What3Words. You may have heard of them, you may not have heard of them. There is an app on uh, Android and iPhone. What it does is it divides the world up into three meter by three meter squares. Every continent in the world, uh, from the, the deserts of Africa to the rainforests of South America, there is a square listed on the uh, what three words app therefore you can find exactly where you've put something or where something's located or where you intend to meet someone right down to uh, a nine square meter area it's a bit like gps but a lot more simple simpler to remember and use also what potentially could happen is you could use the what three words uh, words but then you could also sponsor the station. So essentially that station or that micro station has two uh, names. So the Five Guys in Oakwood could be called Five Guys Oakwood or Shake Shack, Fairfax, etc. And that really uh, allows a, a new uh, revenue source maybe from Five Guys because then everyone will obviously use that five guys uh, on the app to find where the five guys is or it may even be listed on there maybe as an advertisement and then you know how to get there quickly because it is listed on the app the specific location maybe in the car park of the actual five guys so what the hell is my uh, or th what three words it looks like this and except essentially what has happened is each area is divided up into three meter by three meter squares 
and then if you actually wanted to drop, say you wanted to drop something in someone's back garden or maybe on their front lawn, you could actually list the exact location of where you need to drop it. So for example, this location here is called Voices Over Family. And it's not a million miles away from where the Boeing company uh, first micro station is here, just off 120th Street. So let me just give you an example and it'll kind of illustrate to you how simple this system is and how useful it will be for the Boeing company. So, micro station one, so we've got our micro station there at 119th place. And the exact location where that shaft is, is really figure heat. Now, quite easy to remember that, but also you can pull it up on the app. Now, you'd obviously want to put an address with that, just in case people didn't want to use that particular system, but that wouldn't be that difficult easy either. So using that integration between the Boring Company app and the What Three Words app, this will allow people to find stations much more easily in a busy urban environment. And you remember all these different roads in big cities makes it difficult to find specific buildings. Therefore, if you could use this system, you would have no problem whatsoever and you could be guided there via the GPS on your phone. People can memorize three words easily, definitely. If you go to a specific location all the time and you know the what three words address, then very quickly you can memorize that. You could also, and remember, the Boeing company intends to use autonomous pods uh, to travel the last, say, 500 meters of the journey. You could have your exact location loaded into the app and it could drop you directly, maybe at the back of your house or at the front of your house or actually, you know, on the driveway. It'd be a very, very precise location because it's a three meter by three meter square. Therefore, it, it gets you literally to within you know, a few meters of where you need to be and it helps guide the autonomous pod. So it's an excellent system. If you want to use it, guys, go check out that web address there, www.what3words.com, or even better, download the app. The app is great, because I, I use it pretty much all the time at work. It's very, very useful, and it, it's really well put together. So, final thoughts. The Boeing Company and What3Words should partner up in 2019. Absolutely, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Both systems could work together in a mesh very, very nicely. They've got a lot to offer each other. This will absolutely blow up what three words uh, and really offer sort of really you know, big advertising opportunities for that company. Uh, in terms of adoption, in terms of adopting that system, this will absolutely skyrocket the number of users that come on the app every single hour or every single day. Uh, You've got to remember 98% of US residents aged 17 to 50 own a smartphone. Yes, 98%. Therefore, there's no reason why we shouldn't use this system and just integrate it into the Boring Company app. Or you could use it on the, maybe the What Three Words could have something on their app where the stations are marked with blue dots on the map. So it's easy to find where the station is. The system needs to be easy to use, explore and implement. And I think integrating what three words would be absolutely perfect in achieving those three things there. Use, explore and implementation. Right. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think about that integrating what three words. I think it is just common sense integrate that kind of system because imagine you're going to have 7,000 stations all over LA all over the place and you need to if you are a user of this system uh, maybe you're in part of a city where you've not been before you need to find this the station you can quickly whip out your phone find where it is walk there or maybe use the scooter to get there and then boom you can have the actual uh, Boeing company pod waiting for you there it'll calculate how long it's going to take you to get there say it says it's going to take five minutes so the pod turns up there in six minutes and boom you're in the pod and you can get to where you need to go which is perfect let me know what you think of that guys do you think this is a good idea do you think it's a bad idea do you think 
that the Boeing company will want to work with uh, what three words? Let me know below in the comments. Uh, yeah, I'd appreciate some, and that should be prediction seven, guys. I'm not updated that. Very sorry about that. Um, oh, yeah. So thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate you tuning in. Obviously, this is another predictions episode. We're going to go back and have a look at them maybe in August, September. So please like and subscribe. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the messages. Appreciate that. See you soon. Remember, don't be boring. See you later. Goodbye.